Did you know that more than 80% of American adults had at least one credit card? There are several reasons for this, such as convenience, rewards, finance, purchases, and spreading payments out over time. But most importantly, it is the easiest way to build your credit score, which is crucial if you live in the United States. While some people might tell you that credit cards are evil, stay away from them because they'll ruin your life, credit cards are somewhat a double-edged sword. If used without care and caution, they can turn on you and hurt your finances. But for most people with common sense and self-discipline, they can be used as an instrument and a powerful tool to build your credit score. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you four steps on choosing the best credit card. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Munif Ali, a self-made multimillionaire with multiple brick and mortar businesses. I've closed billions of dollars in sales. I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm just here to share with you what it takes to become financially successful. This is my way of giving back to the community for all the success that I have been able to achieve in my life. The things that I'm sharing with you actually come from all the experiences that I have. It would mean a lot to me if you just took a little bit of time as part of this awesome community by subscribing to my channel and giving this video a thumbs up. Check your credit score and understand your credit worthiness. Before you start your credit card application process, it is important for you to understand where you stand when it comes to credit worthiness. Simply put, know your credit score. This is because a whole lot of companies that will decline your application just for the reason of you not having enough of a credit score. You might think, well, okay, Munif, I don't need to do that. I mean, I could just go out to the next company and apply and see if they accept my credit card application or not. Well, you could definitely do that, but did you know that if you apply for millions of credit cards to see which one will accept you, it will inevitably affect your credit score as well. This is called a hard pull or hard inquiry. And every time you apply for a new line of credit, it is recorded on your credit report and will affect your overall credit score. These transactions usually stay on your credit report for up to two years. This is why it is important for you to know your credit score beforehand and then plan before shopping for a credit card. Now this brings us to how you can check your credit score. The easiest way is to use your current savings account and bank. Several banks offer this service, so check to see if your bank has it too. Another way is to go to Experian, Equifax, TransUnion and get your credit report directly from them. Understand what your needs are and why you're getting a credit card. In other words, know your purpose. Just a quick fact. There are two categories of credit cards. One is the secured and the other one is the unsecured credit card. The secured credit card is just like a usual credit card, but you need to put down a security deposit equivalent to your credit limit. While the unsecured credit card is the credit card we all think of when we talk about it. It's basically a loan and the credit issuer gives you permission to not put any money up front. So the whole video we're talking about unsecured credit cards, which is usually known by many people. This credit card has several types and uses. First, cashback cards. This card will give you a a certain percentage of your spending which you can redeem in the future as cash. For instance, it could be a flat rate of 2% on every purchases or 1% cash back when you pay in full or 5% cash back up to let's say $1,500 in purchases. This type of cash is great for reoccurring monthly costs like fuel and gas. Second is earning cards that accumulate points. This card will give you a certain amount of points depending on your purchases. For instance, the Blue Business Plus credit card, American Express, which gives you a flat rate of twice the points on all purchases up to the first $50,000 per year and then one times the points after that. So if you spend $10,000 a year, you could accumulate 20,000 points. Or the City Premier card, which gives you different points, three times or one times, depending on where you use the card, whether it's a supermarket or air travel or other things. Points accumulate from this card can be redeemed as cash and as a discount to air travel or hotel accommodations or exchange for gift cards or other merchandise items. Lastly, the Miles Earning Cards. This is somewhat similar to other earning cards, but instead of points, you accumulate miles and you can redeem those miles for travel with different airlines or cruise operators and travel companies. And depending on how many miles you have earned, you can travel for free or upgrade your travel class. With all that said and done, these rewards are percentages of your own spending. And at the end of the day, I really can't tell you which card you should choose since it all boils down to what you're looking for in a credit card. Do the math, figure out how much you will spend per year using your credit card, whether for reoccurring bills, gas, travel, hotel accommodations, or to finance big purchases. Get an idea for how much rewards you can get from that kind of spending and which one will give you better benefits over a long time. For instance, look at the Blue Cash Preferred card from American Express, which offers 6% cash back at US supermarkets and up to $6,000 a year on purchases with zero annual costs on the first year and then $95 after that. So if in your second year of using the card, you expect to spend $4,000 on groceries, your total cash back will be $240 or 6% of 4,000 versus the annual fee of $95. 
This could offset the annual fee and you can gain another $140 in your pocket. So do the math and see if the rewards outweigh the cost. Knowing what criteria to look for and what questions to ask. For example, will this card help you build your credit? If one of the reasons why you are applying for a credit card is to improve your credit score, this is important. Creditors are not legally obligated to report to credit bureaus, so asking them would be beneficial. It is also better if your card issuer reports to all three major credit bureaus, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. This is because if you're a responsible borrower, but only one of the bureaus are alerted, it could also adversely affect your credit score. You wanna ask things like, what is the annual fee for this credit card? When you're applying for a credit card, some will offer zero annual fee, but others will definitely require annual fee to keep your credit card open. This fee could range anywhere from $25 to 650 bucks. As I've mentioned earlier, do a little math to see if the value of the rewards and the cashbacks and the points and the miles would outweigh these type of fees. Step four, know yourself. As I mentioned earlier in this video, a credit card can be a double-edged sword. Depending on how you use it, it could be a financial tool that's powerful. But on the flip side, it could also hurt you and your finances. That's why I included this step. Even though it is not entirely about credit cards, I wanna emphasize to you that you really need to understand what you're getting into. And you need to be confident about paying the debt off in full every billing cycle and understand how much the interest will cost you if you don't. Know your numbers and know how much late payments will be as well. How much it's going to be for a foreign transaction. How much cash advance fees are. Do you know how much rewards are going to compensate for these fees? Ask yourself how confident you are in managing your credit cards. Assess your self-control of whether you are responsible as a credit card user. And most of these things are things that only you can answer. But if I were to give you a practical tip, well, if you're not confident that you can use credit cards responsibly, but would still like to build your credit score, then you can start out with a secured credit card. Get the feel of how to use it and get into the habit of being responsible with its usage. To wrap up today's video, don't get too excited when you choose a credit card. Mindlessly click on that apply button before you know yourself, know your numbers, and know your credit card before pulling that trigger. If you're not that confident about managing your finances, spending, and payment, practice those and then improve them before getting a credit card. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you found it valuable. And if you do, go ahead and click on that like button and that notification bell for more meaningful content like this. If you're still hungry for more, go ahead and check out this video, Six Ways to Increase Your Credit Score in 2023.